Heads up, while most of my content is family friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such the videos in this Let's Play are likely to contain mild blood and or violence possibly at the same time. So viewer discretion is advised. All right, everybody, sit back, relax, grab some popcorn or your favorite snack, just to start munching away, because we're going to Recipe for Turnabout today. Oh, I forgot we have today. to do a new game. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's Recipe for Turnabout. It's going to make you hungry, so you need the snack. There's going to be more food in this case than Angel Star dishing out lunches left and right and rise from the ashes. Actually, I don't think there is as much food as there was Probably in that case. Probably not. There was so much food. But we'll just have to see what's cooking. In this case, probably three, two, a one. Do things are gonna be stewing about? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, things enough. are brewing. I feel like these puns are not very fulfilling. Oh great! Okay, anyhow, <laughs> let's start now. Oh, is there gonna be some epic intro? That's enough. This court sees no reason to further what? prolong the trial. The case is extremely clear. I see no room for misinterpretation of the facts. Is this like you. starting? It wasn't me! I swear it wasn't me! I don't even know who this is! The evidence and testimony we have seen and heard are conclusive. The victim was alone at his table when he drank from that poisoned cup of coffee. No! You're wrong! I know what I saw! I saw! I saw! I don't even know what this person looks like, so I can't determine voices. That's fine. I saw someone else there! A man! He's the real killer! His fingers. Ooh! <laughs> this is like Salt Bay, but poison. <laughs> Have you seen that weird, like, gif thing? Why won't anyone believe me? Have you seen no, that weird I gif haven't. thing where there, there's a guy, he's like sprinkling salt on his mouth? No, meat? I haven't. It's, it's hilarious. Well, I'd say that pretty much wraps this case up, wouldn't you? Mr. Wright? What? We lost? Today? This court finds the defendant. Guilty. Why did we lose to pain? <laughs> the court is adjourned. Poor Mr. Wright. Maybe this is a dream. Maybe Recipe it's a for turnabout. <laughs> it's like, aw oh, man. <laughs> I, I hope it's at a burger joint. That'd be so great. <laughs> January 6th, 10.03 a.m. Wright and Company Law Offices. Ah! The start of a new year always makes me feel like I can take on the whole world. I bet it does, Maya. So, I've decided that our resolution should be... Zwari! Take on the world! What do you think? Sure, whatever, Maya. But I think maybe you've had more than enough mistletoe cake. Never! You've gotta eat a lot of cake during New Year's! It's practically a tradition! Like watching the fireworks on TV or playing a board game. Hey, pal! <laughs> oh, hi! <laughs> Detective Gumshoe? Happy New Year, Detective! Uh, uh, likewise. Now listen up, right? <laughs> I wanna! Here's to another fruitful year of lawyer-police cooperation. Uh, yeah, me too. All right, pal! <laughs> you've got some explaining to! Have you gotten a holiday present for me, Detective? A uh, what? Uh, well, I, um, uh, here, have this. It, it's really nothing much, but... Yay! Thanks! Look, pal! We need to have a talk! Let's take a seat! Hey! What about Pearly? You haven't forgotten her present, have you? Uh, no. I, I mean, yes. I mean, no. Are you doing this on purpose? <laughs> Guess I'm busted. How did you like my first practical joke of the year? Very funny, pal. Now let's see how funny you think this is when I show you this. What is it? A magazine? Oh, does it have Phoenix Wright on it? Hey, I wanna see! Deadly poisoning brings guilty verdict. Defense attorney Wright trounced? Trounced? Let me see that. My reputation is in tarnished. <laughs> <laughs> the defense attorney gave an almost childishly amateur a performance yesterday. What the heck is this? It's a report, pal, about you. Listen to this. Mr. Wright must take full responsibility for the ruling in this case. Well, and don't tell me you don't remember anything about it. But I don't remember <laughs> anything about it. <laughs> when was the issue from anyway? Um, December of last year, which I guess makes it last month. Which makes us old news, you mean. But I wasn't involved in a poisoning case in December. Hmm, so what do you think this is all about, Nick? If it wasn't you, pal, 
then that leaves only one possibility. No way. You don't mean... A f A phony Nick?! This must be Gumshoe's idea of a joke. Guess he's starting off the year with one, too. Magazine clipping added to the court record. So? What are you gonna do about it, pal? What do you mean, what am I going to do about it? Well, it's your fault that the judge found the defendant guilty in the case. My fault?! How do you figure that? Because the Phoenix Wright is super famous now! Well, maybe only sort of. <laughs> he has two games. <laughs> yeah, see what happens when you hotshots start getting too full of yourselves? But I didn't do anything wrong! At least, not that I can remember. You better make this right, pal. Now! And that means taking the case back to court, got it? Sounds like we've got our first case of the new year! Let's tackle it with gusto! I don't know. The judge already issued a guilty verdict once in this case. It's not going to be easy to get it overturned. I guess that New Year's resolution is going to have to wait until next year. So you're taking the case, right? Good! I'm gonna head over to the courthouse then. After that, I'll go back to the precinct. Drop by if you need something, okay pal? What the heck, did we get like knocked out or something? I guess people are starting to know the name Phoenix Wright. If a client entrusted a case to me based on my reputation, I guess I am kind of responsible. But why would someone want to impersonate me? What sort of a guy would do that? I believe you mentioned earlier, you're like, I think it would be weird if, like, Phoenix had, like, a evil clone of him. <laughs> I mentioned that in a previous game! <laughs> I'm just like, I think she's looking stuck. No, I'm not! <laughs> I swear I'm not! No, that, that, it's just funny. An old movie poster. Apparently, this was the first movie that made Mia cry when she saw it a long time ago. Maya watched it recently, and she said she cried all night too. Which, I guess, is why it's back up on the wall. I'll have to check it out one of these days. Oh, that's the same as the last kid. Come on, Charlie. Charlie, a quite decorative plan. He's sort of a keepsake, something to remember Mia by. Sure, the office is a mess, but I never forget to water this little fella. What about the hotel? There's a giant building just outside the window. It's the Gatewater Hotel, a high-class luxury hotel. The chain is getting so rich that they bought a whole chunk of the next town over. And started building a huge theme park. It's going to be called Gatewater Land. I wonder if that bellboy is going to send me a green card this year, too. The oh bellboy is... Wow! <laughs> They're making an amusement park? <laughs> that would be like, oh yeah, the Ramada Inn is making their own amusement park. Yeah, we're like... <laughs> What is it, uh, Hampton Inn? <laughs> <laughs> Embassies. Or, em more Embassy Suites, which is the higher yeah, end no, stuff. Hampton Inn. <laughs> the Hampton Inn is making its own feed park. <laughs> and we have our video title. <laughs> Difficult looking legal books stand in a formidable row. They mock me. Actually, I've neglected them for so long that they're covered in a layer of dust. I guess I should at least pretend to read them once in a while. Maybe this is why you failed your job. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't him! <laughs> I know. <laughs> So, what's our first move? I guess we go down to the detention center and talk. Wait a sec, Nick. This person's behind bars because of you. Whoever it is isn't going to be jumping at the chance to meet you, right? Hey, hey! Let's get one thing straight. It wasn't me. It was a <laughs> fake me that did this. Hmm, I wonder if he looks exactly like you. Your phony... Zinniope. Oh. <laughs> it's Phoenix backwards. <laughs> Zinniope, I mean... <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> and what kind of a name for an evil double is Zinniope, anyway? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nick! I've got it! If you're going to ask whether I've got a twin brother, the answer is no. Spoiled sport. I feel like that would've come up. <laughs> Did you notice Gumshoe was acting weirder than usual, or was it just me? What do you mean? I mean, he was really worked up. Like a guy who's just found out he's going to be a dad or something! Yeah, I guess he was acting kind of strange. Maybe he realized he's got strong feelings for you, Nick. Considering how we interact, I seriously doubt that, Maya. Well, if he wasn't nervous because of you... Then maybe it's because of our new guilty client? <laughs> oh, I wonder if they're crazy. <laughs> <I hope laughs> They've so. got crazy eyes. So. Uh, which one do you want to go to first? Uh, probably the detention center. Okay. I want to meet our client. January 6th, Who detention center, visitor's room. This is so nerve-wracking, waiting to meet our new client. I wonder just what kind of person you tricked and got found guilty. Keep it down, Maya! <laughs> that kind of talk could ruin me! Ah! Okay, let me see who this is. Oh my gosh! It's like Penny meets Maggie Bird! 
My <laughs> Marty, that is Maggie Bird. Is it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why is she working as? <laughs> what? Do you remember the voice you gave to her? Nope. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> No continuity. I remember a little bit. It was slightly nasal, and it was a little bit like my regular voice. It was like the voice I gave to, um... Don't say Emma Sky. No, not Emma Sky. <laughs> Emma Sky. My chemistry voice. No, um... Uh, the Desiree. A little bit like that. But a little bit less. I don't know. How could you, Mr. Wright? How could you do this to me? He put me in solitary. I haven't been able to stop crying. Aren't you? Yes, I am! I'm totally and utterly let down! Ah! You're... are you? Don't pretend you don't know me! It's me, Maggie! Remember? Maggie Bird! Maggie Bird? Ah! I didn't actually recognize her because <laughs> her outfit was so different. Marty's like, oh no, she can't be the same person. She's not wearing a police outfit. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of the difference in games. Now that she's having- This is like Aladdin. <laughs> he puts on a different outfit with Jasmine's like, don't know, know the guy. who that guy is. I mean, yeah. Well, now that she has that stance, I'm like, yeah, it's Maggie Burr. But since she was like, blah, I was like, I don't know who this is. She did that pose in the other game. You'll see when I upload she, the videos. She did, you're right, actually. Maggie Bird. She's the policewoman I defended that one time. She was accused of murdering her lover. He was a cop, too. And the guy who was see, the real killer loves large If bananas. I had known that Maggie Bird was gonna come back, I would have given her a better voice. No, it's, <laughs> You know, whatever. <laughs> you can change the voice if you want. Okay. New game, new voice. What are you doing in here? Didn't I get you a quit? New game, new year, new, new voice. policewoman. Oh, sure, very funny. After that fil-rate defense job, you come in here and start making jokes? You better hurry up and tell us what happened, Nick. Or tell her. <laughs> Not us. Tell us. <laughs> oh, I see. So that's where we stand right now. I'm sorry you've been caught up in another murder. My whole life has been nothing but a whirlwind of bad luck and failures. I vaguely remember her saying the exact same thing last time. But I don't mind. What's one more disaster in my life? At least now the real Phoenix Wright is here with me. I won't let the world keep me down, sir. <laughs> so, we, we get worked? the Justice for All Detention Center music because of this. Sadness. I really like the first game's Detention Center music. It's probably my favorite. Oh, what one is that? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, yeah. Dun, dun. <laughs> so, how come you're dressed like that, Maggie? Last year, you looked so sharp in that police uniform. <clears throat> I was fired after that incident last year. Wait, why? It's like, well, we know you were innocent, but Whoa, you got accused, you so you're fired. What the heck? Sue them. <laughs> Sue them for sure. <laughs> Poor girl. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's okay. I don't mind one bit. I enjoyed being on the force, but I think it was time for me to move on. I'm okay. It's okay. It's good that you were like, oh, it's time to move on anyways, but you can still make that money for the yeah. unlawful termination. <laughs> so, what do you do now? In the second act of The Life of Maggie Bird, I'm playing the role of a waitress. A waitress? Yes, in a French restaurant. It's a small place, but it's quite fashionable. My charming smile and shapely figure came through for me? <laughs> what? Okay. That's what they want in a waitress, apparently. What is this, a maid cafe? <laughs> I mean, she's kind of wearing the maid outfit. I mean, yeah, but, also, she's, but okay, she's not Maid like, cafes, they're just a Japanese thing, right? I think they exist in America, but those are different kinds of yeah. maid yeah. cafes. Yeah, maid cafe in Japan, very different from what one America yeah. would expect a maid cafe. Yeah, <laughs> maid cafe in Japan actually isn't, like, I know, but bad. I remember, what. Like, Harry Biker's Asian Adventure, oh, where yeah. it's like, oh yeah, we're going to a maid cafe. cafe today. I'm like, this is what? gonna be weird. <laughs> They're just like, hi, let's do the magical dance to bring seasoning to your food. And you're like, okay, does this food have no seasoning? That's a problem. <laughs> I will not be going to a maid cafe. <laughs> no, I, I think it's fine. And the owner, Mr. Armstrong, hired me straight away, sir. And then you got into this mess straight away, right? Yeah, you could put it that way. This whole mess started on the 3rd of last month, and it happened at Trebin. Trabion. Trabion. I don't think that's how it's 
<laughs> Trabia? Trebine. <laughs> Trebine? <laughs> yes, it's a restaurant where good service and a friendly smile are always included. Oh. There were two men at the table, both drinking coffee. And then... Wait a minute, what are the looks like, Phoenix Wright? <laughs> yeah, that's kind of the thing. The game kind of gives away the killer, like, right away. <laughs> well, I guess it must be Maggie. <laughs> what? <laughs> one of the men slipped some poison into the victim's cup. The victim took just one sip and was gasping for air. I was so shocked, I passed out. Hey, hold on there, Maggie. What? You keep calling the guy the victim. Didn't you know the guy who was killed? Not at all! I've never seen the guy before! Oh. So she wouldn't have had a motive to kill him then, I guess. And the other man, the killer. Who you saw him, looks right? Like Phoenix, right? It looks like an old Phoenix, right? Of course! A good waitress must be attentive to the clientele. So, was it me? <laughs> or was so, it? you saw the killer, but you were found guilty of the crime anyway? How come? You tell me, Mr. Wright! Ah! Guess the answer to my question is my phony. Anyway, she saw the killer. Better see if I can get a description of the guy. At least she's being pretty, like, forgiving. Like, what if this dude who supposedly failed you is just like, Hey, so, how are you doing in detention center? Just like, go away! Well, she was angry at first. Yeah. But then we so, explained. So, if you saw the murderer, why were you still convicted? Because no one else saw. Saw what? The other man. The one who put the poison in the victim's coffee. Everyone testified that way. Mr. Armstrong, the customer, everyone. The victim was sitting alone at his table the whole time. But, but, but how's that possible? I don't know. But nobody, not one person, would believe me, sir. Even Phoenix Wright, my one last hope for a fair trial, failed me. What a pathetic defense! My granny could have done a better job! Look, that wasn't me, okay? <laughs> and then... They found something a bit incriminating in my apron pocket. What? A small bottle of poison. Well, yeah! That's <laughs> going to be a problem! What?! Poison?! It was in your pocket?! Well, I passed out when the victim collapsed. The killer must have slipped the poison in my pocket when I was unconscious. I mean, that would make sense. Or, if it's like, here's your coffee! And the guy's just like, and like, tosses it in her pocket. <laughs> That, <laughs> that would be an insane toss, and there's no way no one would notice that. That's true. Well, maybe, I don't know. There's, like, the weird... <laughs> he practiced water bottle flipping beforehand, so he was good. <laughs> and no one you else... You want to see a trick? Wow, that's great! <laughs> and no one else saw this other guy? No, sir. That's why everyone said, but I don't see how they could have missed him. was the one who took the coffee to the two men. Oh? And what was your impression of them? Well, when I first saw them, I kind of thought they might be the music industry. In the music? How come? Well, one of them had some sort of earpiece and an emo musician's look about him. And there was a sample CD on the table, sir. An earpiece and a sample CD, huh? Did you get a look at the CD at all? It had a band's name written on it. I think it was MC something. They must have been preparing for they de their debut, I guess. So it was a band CD. Maybe a promo disc? MCDC. <laughs> Maybe it was MC Screwdriver! Get serious, Maya. Would you buy the CD of a group named that? <laughs> mm, what was the name of that group again? MC Hacksaw? No, MC... And what about the killer? What did he look like? That's a play on the band MC Hammer, by the way. Oh, that was MC Hammerly? <laughs> MC Hammer? Hammerly, but maybe Okay, alright. Um, I don't really remember. Only that he was a young man. Well built, like the victim, really. Hey, Maggie, did you know I'm an attorney? <laughs> that badge, is it real? Of course it's real! That's what they all say, but I've been duped before. Get, give it to me for a sec. Ah! Chomp! She, she bit into it. And I left a few teeth marks, too. I can see that. I just wish I could remember if that means it's real or fake. 
<gasps> I said it was real! <laughs> she just started eating it? <laughs> oh, yeah. I need to ask you about this. Hey! This article's about my case! Can you tell me anything about the guy who was pretending to be me? Yes, sir. It was the morning after I'd been arrested. I met you in the visitor's room here. You were wearing one of your super sharp suits. Sure. Me? Yes, you, Mr. Wright. Ah. Hey, Maggie! Was my evil doppel I am here too? <laughs> <laughs> Remember how in the last time she's like, Yeah, my evil one would be I, I am. am. <laughs> no, I don't remember phony you, Maya. Oh. <sighs> it would have been so cool. Then you've really got worked up and passionate. I'm gonna get you cleared of this crime, you said. Okay, I, I get the picture. But you've met me in person before. So how come you didn't realize that guy wasn't the real me? I guess, looking back now, it was a little strange. Only a little? Well, okay, so you were a bit taller than normal. And you looked a bit shady. And your voice was a bit weird. Oh, and you had this kind of funny accent and- So the guy was nothing <laughs> like me then! <laughs> but he had your spiky hair and blue suit. That means nothing! Uh, Marty, you were the one who was like, That can't be Maggie, she's not wearing a police outfit. <laughs> she was bent over and I didn't see her in her typical position. I don't know. I thought it could- I was like, this is a cross between Penny and Maggie Bird. You're like, it is Maggie Bird. I'm like, oh, yep, yeah, okay. <laughs> Blue suit and spiky hair? Is that all it takes for someone to imitate me? How about everyone else in the courtroom, like the judge and the observers? Didn't they realize he was an imposter? Everyone had these big question marks on their faces. But it seemed that no one wanted to say anything, sir. Well, yeah, the prosecution isn't gonna say anything. Mr. Pitt's like, this will be easy! <laughs> <laughs> this case just keeps getting weirder and weirder. Mr. Wright, do you think it's possible to get a retrial? Probably. The court ruled in the absence of a genuine defense attorney. So we should be able to get a retrial. Um, Mr. Wright, do you think we'll win next time, sir? My life has been a full-course meal of bad luck, complete with defeat for dessert. Since I was six months old when I fell from the ninth floor of my apartment building. I've been hit by all sorts of vehicles, gotten sick from all sorts of food, failed at almost every test I've taken, experienced almost every kind of disaster. I even landed a phony for lawyer when I had the misfortune of being accused for murder. But I will survive because Maggie Bird always lives to fight another day. And one day I'll find it. Just you wait and see, sir. I'll find that one single moment of good luck. Ah, uh, Zingoff is really gonna pay for this. It's Zinioop. Zinioop is really gonna pay for this. What, what are you staring at me like that for? But Maya's right. Whoever it is that thought it was a good idea to use my name and get an innocent girl convicted of murder had better watch out. We'll find him! Don't you worry! We'll get Zini Oop for you! Thank you! Oh, and, uh, I'll tell you where Trebian Tre is. Trabian. Tre. Oh, right, the restaurant where the re murder place. I thought it was Bien. Trabian, if it's French. If it's French? Which it but is. I it's see. a French restaurant. Oh. But. I want to look up the pronunciation. Trabian. Uh, it's sounds, French! It's French! Wrong. You pronounce as few syllables as possible. <laughs> Travion. Is that French? That, that is... Okay. okay, I don't know if that's true, but every <laughs> French word I've seen where it's like... Like, au revoir. It's like... Au revoir. Au revoir. It's like... Um, it's au revoir. But au okay. Revoir. <laughs> yes, sir. When you go, please tell Mr. Armstrong I said hi. Sure. All right, Nick. Let's go check out this restaurant and its food. Well, that sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> Godot, oh, Godot, we already have his here. profile in here. Uh, Maggie Bird. Oh, he's 42. The She's 23. Say, the reason I say Bien is because, like, it looks like Moy Bien. That's Spanish. But it's spelled the same I way. know, but it it's also... a different language. <sighs> this is why I hated taking Spanish and why I Did switched you to ever Japanese. Did you take Spanish? I took it twice. Okay. Oh, uh, in. Criminal Affairs or Trabion? Oh, obviously Trabion. Alright. <laughs> I wanna see it. It's so cutesy! It has to be, like, a maid cafe. I think this was one of the most hideous looking places in the no, series. No, I'm saying it's a cutesy style. It's like the lovely style from Animal Crossing. That yeah, that, that was terrible. Yeah. January cool. 6th, Trabion. 
Please tell me there's a crazy girl working here. Please. Wow! Look at this place! Look? More of a smell. What is with the suffocating scent of flowers in here? Then again, girls like that kind of thing, right? No. Actually, I'm not at all into it. No one's come to see us. Maybe there's no one here. Don't be silly, Maya. This is a restaurant and it's open for business. Hello? Anyone here? I don't believe it! There really isn't anyone here! <laughs> Perfect! Let's get intrusive! If there's no one here, we can take anything we want! Yeah, I suppose we can. Let's eat. Also, this is- I hate this music so much. This is like Hello Kitty. Whoa, what's that? It's a rack full of fashion magazines and they're all in French! Why don't you try wearing something a bit more chic sometime, huh, Maya? Yeah, I guess I could. I'm always in my Acolyte costume clothes, aren't I? It'd be fun to wear normal clothes every now and then. Hmm? There's something stuffed in behind the rack. Looks like it's a sports paper to me. Hey, and look at this! Someone scribbled a little doodle on one of the pages. MC Bomber! <laughs> it's mask <-a> mask <laughs> And one, two, three, four, five zeros. A, a hundred thousand dollars, maybe? I wonder what MC Bomber is supposed to be. This paper! It's from December 3rd! This paper's from the day of the poisoning! What?! How is oh. it there that long? That was a whole month ago! They're like, what's that paper button? Uh, probably nothing. It's like, it's like, um, sh Mr. Sh like, Armstrong, weren't you Why supposed to be cleaning this? It's like, oh, well, you see, I don't ever clean the French restaurant. <laughs> I don't even know what he is. <laughs> a paper from the day of the murder. This has to be a clue. I mean, he's a, he's a French chef. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I could, Maybe I could it could be like a... the weird American that's like, so I really like French cuisine, and I think it would be great to Why are you my... doing a hillbilly voice? <laughs> because it'd be funny if there was a hillbilly that owned a French restaurant. That would be funny. <laughs> I should see if I can find out some more about this paper. It was about $15. How much if I paid you $15? <laughs> it's the restaurant's front entrance. There's a sign hanging on the door written in French. It probably says open or closed. Oh, maybe it says closed and we want it. <laughs> it must be one or the other, but I don't know since I don't know Jacques about French. Oh, we probably walked in when it was closed and they'll be like, ah! Look at all the little trinkets tucked away in here. I bet Mr. Armstrong <laughs> collected all of these personally. Let's see, a bouquet of flowers, some potpourri, and look, fine bone china cups. I never knew you were so cultured. I majored in art in college. Come on, Maya, this is common knowledge. Any Joe Schmo knows this much. I mean, I wouldn't have. I don't know what potpourri Well, you're not Joe like. Schmo, you're Josephine Schmosephine. <laughs> Thank you for that. Look, it's one of those magical boxes that spits out money. You know, you're the only person who would ever describe a cash register in that way. Well, they don't exist in her town. It's true. Oh, look at that. There's an entire table that's the still marked The police off. tape, even though the case is closed. <laughs> this table's set nicely. It just needs a customer. What do you think this flower is, Nick? Let's see. Well, it doesn't look like a tulip, and it's not a sunflower, I don't think. Duh! Even I could have told you that! Well, those are the only kinds of flowers I know. Dagnabbit, I'm a lawyer, not a botanist. Okay, what if... Aren't there, like, poisonous flowers? Probably. What if it was like, there's no poison bottle, instead he just took a flower petal off and, and ate put it. it in the water. No, put it in the... <laughs> in his drink. The restaurant has partitions that separate... rose tea. Ooh. <laughs> Someone's been watching you with Great British Bake Off. Oh, I infused the eclair with rose water. Oh, and lavender. The worst. <laughs> you actually pulled that off. Well done, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> this restaurant has partitions that separate the tables. When you're seated at a table, you can only see the tables to your right or left. Well, if there were any witnesses, Ooh. they wouldn't have seen it. Okay, so you're probably going to get confused by the floor plan, so I'll just tell you there are two tables there, and then there are two tables behind us. So there are four okay. tables in the restaurant. Okay, okay. Thank you. So I was like, this is the smallest restaurant It ever. is still pretty small. It's like that, like, run-down barbecue place that you go to, and there's like, you can <laughs> sit down <laughs> no, in there, but, but we don't we want don't really you to. We don't really want you to. <laughs> this must be the table where the murder occurred. I 
guess so, with all this police tape all around it. Then that stain must be from the poisoned coffee. Don't go licking the tablecloth, okay, Maya? Why would I lick it? I'm not a cat, you know. Then why can I picture you doing just that? I too can picture her doing just that. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> Where's the stain? <laughs> going in for a lick! <laughs> and, and it's dish soap. <laughs> Um, let's go back to the detention center. Hey, Maggie. Would you it's look a paper. at that? Oh, a sports paper. Let's see, let's see. Did Gusten? Gusten. Gusten. Oh, Gutson. Gutson. Oh, like guts. Yeah. Did Gutson Braun manage to defend his heavyweight title? Sorry, Maggie. That paper is actually a month old. It's from the day of the murder. And Gutson... Gutson got knocked out yesterday, I'm afraid. Oh, no. I found this paper in the magazine rack at Trabion. Really? That's strange. Trabion doesn't get newspapers. Mr. Armstrong says he's not really fond of them. Then maybe one of the customers left it behind. Anyway, what I want you to take a look at is this scribble here. <gasps> Aha! That's it, sir! MC Bomber! That was the name that was written on the CD! Just as I thought. I guess it wasn't MC Screwdriver after all, huh? So, that $100,000 must be a down payment for a record deal, right? If someone gave me $100,000, I'd sing for sure! The Master of Karain, or the Spirit Song, or even Maya's theme! I would- <laughs> Maya's theme is an actual song. <laughs> it's like the da 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 <laughs> Um, okay, Maya. <laughs> So if the sample CD was on the victim's table, that means this newspaper may have belonged to the victim. You're right. So the victim left this behind on this the day Phoenix of the murder. Right had huh? sideburns. You could see a smidge of a sideburn. Uh, all right, maybe. I think we better step up the investigation, don't you, Nick? All right. I think that's all the time we have for today. It's right around the half the half an hour mark. I told you it wasn't going to be very interesting at the beginning. Can we do another episode after this? Um, uh, perhaps, yeah. Okay, It's okay. still I just want relatively early. Then. Okay. Anyhow, look forward to next time, everyone. We're going to go to the uh, criminal affairs and talk to somebody there, probably. Somebody, or the... maybe Franziska. I hope she's back. It would be so cool. Even though you know Godot is the main prosecutor for the game. But she can just come in and be like, Wacha! She Wacha! comes in, whips Wacha! you, and walks out. Marty's just like, my life is complete. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, look forward to that next time. I mean, that's not going to happen. <laughs> look forward to the next episode. It's only me to get my friends. Have a great day, and God bless.